And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I am your host, excuse me, Mega Shadow Fists. I second video games, I second commentary. And when we last left off, we were talking about a spy with Mr. Cosmos. So let's go ahead and continue. But there's a good reason we found to find the real spy. A massive cover-up by the government. Government officials were too embarrassed to admit that they had a lot of things that happened at the hands of a spy. This is slowly turning more into like a Metal Gear plotline than an Ace Attorney plotline. Don't tell me they made the police rush the investigation. They did indeed. And then to cover the sabotage, they cleaned up the story. And that was the Hatwin miracle, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> But then, seven years later, the same M.O. Modus operandi? Advanced warning. Advanced warning of sabotage. That must have been the director's reason for switching the launch pads. Just like seven years ago. Seven years ago, the spy gave you advanced warning of the plans, just like this time. That was what made you decide to switch the launch pads, wasn't it? That's right. The caller knew the fact that you seven years ago despite the cover-up. They knew about the sabotage. The moonwreck. The murder. And they said... You don't want things to go like they did seven years ago, do you? I merely thought of calling up the launch, but the government wouldn't let me. We don't give in to the likes of terrorists. We must proceed for our country's honor. Uh, actually, that kind of echoes like, um, Abe, um, Abe Sori, Abe Sori Daijing. The, um, Prime Minister of Japan when those two, in real life, like, was this two years ago when the two Japanese, uh, uh, citizens were uh, kidnapped by terrorists? We will not give in to terrorists, is what he said. And then they got executed by the, uh, terrorists. Yep. We don't give intellectual like terrorists. We must proceed for our country's honor. It was quite a moving speech, actually. Moving? Really? Maybe maybe if you're really inspired by the political talking po by political talking points. But I knew the truth. We have been warned, which meant that the danger was very real. And I knew there was no way to stop the spy. No matter what I did, they would fight away. That's why I switched to launch pads. And stage your moving rescue scene. First, I snuck into the center of the night before and switched to the launch pads. That way, the astronauts would go from boiling launch one to the space machine. Then, I put a closed for repair sign the do door to launch pad one and boarding launch two. You did that so normal visitors wouldn't enter, right? What else did you do? Okay, him. First, I, stu I snuck into the center that the night before and switched the launch pads. <laughs> That way, the astronauts would go from boarding launch 1 to the Space Museum. Then I put a closed for repair sign at the door to launch pad 1 and boarding launch 2. Okay. Yeah, that's a normal vista wouldn't enter, right? What else did you do? I enlisted the help of several staff members, including Terra. But you didn't let Mrs. Darbuck in on it. He'd already been through enough, and he's not good at lying to keep a secret. I'm afraid he had no choice but to have him drugged. My plan went well, until... Clay's murder, huh? After the culprit made their escape, I switched the launch pads back. I did it in such a way that no one would find out. But after all that effort, Terran is dead and the hat too is destroyed. And the Hope Capsule, which had returned to us recently, was also lost in that blast. My home, the center of the cosmos. My beautiful cosmos space is done for! Wait. What did he mean by the Hope Capsule was lost in that blast? The Hope Capsule? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <coughs> I, thought, I thought that the Hope Capsule was found at the crime scene with Mr. Terran. It had just been... It had, <laughs> it had just been brought back by the Hope Space Probe with the, with the asteroid samples inside. So what kind of samples are they? What's in them? Her shepherds are scheduled for analysis in the near future. We haven't had time since they just came back the day before Terran's murder. The capsule is being held in a safe in Lunch Pad 1. But I gave it to Terran before the incident so it wouldn't be destroyed in the explosion. The idea was that, with it safely in Terran's possession, he could make it look like he rescued it during the stage's miraculous escape. But our precious research materials ended up lost in that explosion anyway. But I thought that Clay was supposed to keep it safe! You misunderstand. The launch pad explosion wasn't the one the capsule was lost to. It was lost after the police confiscated it as evidence. 
Ah, it was a, it was that it was the courtroom bomber for the other day. The capsule was there in the courtroom as evidence. That was blown to smithereens. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. No. Never mind. No, no, no. I'm gonna need to. Never mind. Did I even read that? Let me, let me make sure. The capture was there in the courtroom's evidence. It was blown to smithereens. Yet another casualty of that blast. Ultimately, I think the culprit may have known about the switching of the launch patch. What? How? The police found a wiretapping device during their investigation today. A bug aboard my battleship. A tap of my uh, advanced communication system. A wire on that phone? Yes. A wire on this very phone. I used this phone to give instructions to my staff about the launchpad switch. Just to the few select members who knew about the plan. Just before the entrance, staff members are coming in and out of launchpad 1. The culprit probably slipped in with them amid the confusion. And plan the bomb and plan the bomb then. Yes, if they were tapping your phone, they definitely could pull something like that off. Like that off. So you really think the same spy is behind this incident in the one seven years ago? Yes, I'm sure of it. Then this spy must be the phantom Prosecutor Blackwell's been chasing. But Prosecutor Blackwell told me once. The hunt I've been on for the Phantom of seven years past continues even stale. I know last time I read that in Blackwell's voice or whatever. For starters, for starters, that case happened right here at this very space center too. So if we can find this Phantom... That's right, we can clear Athena's name. And then there's the matter of Prosecutor Blackwell too. What about him? Well, if the culprit of seven years ago is the same person as in the current incident, it would mean Prosecutor Blackwell is innocent. That's still an if, though. Hmm. I wonder how dangerous that guy would be in court without handcuffs. We've seen several times. But if we're going on a ghost hunt, count me in. <laughs> it's all over for me. Spin, spin, whirl, whirl, I'm done for. The Shadow Cosmos is doomed. Do you think he's going to be alright, Eddie? Well, at least he'll be in good company. There must be plants out there he can spin with. Which reminds me, I'd like to delve a little deeper into the Hat One mission too. If you want to learn more, start with the Space Museum. There's a Hat One exhibit there. Oh, don't mind me, I'll just keep spinning here and see how the cosmos unfolds. It's like he's achieved spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment or something. I'm sure he'll stop when he gets dizzy. Let's go visit the Space Museum. Alright, move to the Space Museum. Lodir und Jinta Num. December 20th, Cosmos Space Center, Space Museum, Simnujiki Roxet. Let's see, where's the ex on, ex exhibit on the launch pad seven years ago? There, that's the Hatwin exhibit. Oh, wow! Look at that photo of the team! There's Clay and Mr. Starbuck, Director Cosmos, Ora Blackwell, and even Punko. The one in the far right is the lady who died, who I'm assuming has some type of relation to Athena. But I've never seen the woman on the right before. Everybody looks so happy! Well, except for Director Cosmos. No, I'd say that's pretty happy for Director Cosmos. I mean, look at him. He has his thumbs up. Come on. Let's check out the newspaper article, too. Hat one launch imminent. Uh, hat one launch imminent. By the way, there's a uh, samurai sword in the background over there. And there's a photo of the Hope Space Probe. I guess it's only natural it doesn't talk about the murder or the, sa or the sabotage. They really, they really were, they really were keeping it a secret, just like the director said. Daddy, take a look at that jacket. It must be the Hat One team's uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing, the one that belonged to Clay. Actual jacket worn by a Hat One team member, it says. Not a replica, huh? REPLICA! Anyway, I wonder if it was Mr. Starbucks. 
how an exhibit added to the court record, a newspaper clipping, a photo of the people involved with with the launch, and a jacket and a jacket one of them wore. Hello, the Uh, what? What? Junie, what are you doing here? Oh, Miss Woods, what brings you here? I, I heard Thena got arrested, so I. I've been looking for you, Mr. Wright. I thought you might- I thought you might be here, at the scene. You must be so worried, but rest assured, I'm going to do my very be my very best to defend her. Thena's going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. Mm-hmm. Huh? Even the Cosmos Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here. When she was a little girl. She did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. Miss Woods, could you could you tell me more in detail? Alright, uh... First and foremost, I wear that I'm a lawyer. I'm very sorry, but I don't know anything about th that... About that... <coughs> <coughs> okay, sorry to bother you. I guess she doesn't have leads on... I guess she doesn't have leads on that. Anywho, lay the holes in. Athena in the Space Center. Athena's mom worked here. Uh huh. If I remember right, she was a doctor of psychology or something like that. But why is the psychology specialist working at a space research facility? I don't really know. But I do know that she lived and worked here, so Athena lived here too. So it was far from Athena's first time here. I wonder why she didn't mention it. She probably didn't want to talk about it. This place is connected to a very sad memory for her. Sad memory? A sad memory. Can you tell me about it? There was a terrible incident here. It was seven years ago. The same time frame as the Hat One launch. Fina's mom in the robotics lab. She was... murdered. Oh. What?! After it happened, Athena stopped coming to Athena stopped coming to school. Poor Athena. And all this time, she never let it, let on at all. I was so worried about her. I came so many times hoping to see her. But I never saw her again. After a while, he started exchanging letters, but I didn't get to see her face to face for seven long years. And so the first, and so the first time he'd seen her in seven years was during Professor Court's case. That's right, and I was so surprised. She was like, a, she was like a completely different person, so cheerful and happy. Oh, they're playing. That's a uh, courtroom revolutionaire in the background. Like a slowed down version. Young Athena. What was Athena like as a child? She was very sensitive and kind. She didn't talk very much. She liked to draw and paint at home. That's completely diff different from the Athena we know now. I can't even picture it. She never left the Space Center much because... She was very sensitive to other people's emotions. When she went to crowded places, she'd get dizzy from all the emotions flying around. Wrong voice? It must be hard to hear people's hearts as well as their voices. She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. She said her mother made them for her, as part of her research. Huh. I wonder what kind of research it was. Because of her special ability, Thena couldn't handle being in school very often. And I was always out sick because of my weak con constitution. Maybe that's why we became such good friends. We used to play together here at the Space Center a lot. It brings back memories. Sounds like Athena's mother played a big role here at the Space Center. Ooh, Daddy, show her that picture! Atta girl, good idea. Mmm.
Miss Woods, could you take a look at this for me? Oh, look! There's Tina's mom! Yep, called it! Called it! The one on the far right, the one in the kimono. That's Dr. Metis Sykes. Athena's mother's murder. Did it by any chance have any connection to the Hat 1 launch? What? Why, yes, it did. As I recall, it happened on the day before the launch. Just as I suspected. But that wasn't the worst of it. One of my staff members was murdered. So this is the murder Director Cosmos was talking about. Does that mean that the crime Prosecutor Black was convicted of? Is the murder of Athena's mother? There's a chance her death is somehow connected to the current case. There is? Thank you for all your help, Miss Woods. And please, try not to worry. I won't let anything happen to Athena. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I know you'll take good care of her. So, we need to investigate the robotics lab and also talk to Athena. We've got our plates full, Daddy. I hope we can fit it on before the day is through. The detention center, the detention center first, then. We have to see Athena before visiting hours are over. December 20th, the detention center visitor's room. Okay. Well, if it isn't Mr. Lawyer, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Detective Fulbright. Here on business? To tell the truth, I'm here to interview Ted Tonate. The one behind the courtroom bombing incident? He suddenly said he's ready to tell the truth about the case. And what he was saying was so incredible, I just had to come right over to hear more. Incredible? What was he saying? Why don't you hang around and hear for yourself? Really? Us? Are you sure? Ha 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 ha! I'll give you my special permission. Here comes the bomber now. You yeah, what nerf? You have to come here. You're here to laugh at me, I suppose. I can't waste my breath on you. After all, you're the one who sorted a pole and put him in the hospital. Violence? No. Question? Okay. No violence. Too bad Apollo didn't get a chance to say that before you attacked him. I... I... Fine. Then just answer me this, Mr. Tonate. What is this truth of yours about the courtroom you blew up? No, I didn't do it. I didn't blow up the courtroom. When I was going to detective arm, 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 there was another person in the room. Talking about who else could have been there? I saw it. I tell you, I saw someone's hands at that watch still in the remote switch. This person was there and witnessed the murder I committed. What? I don't know who it was. Well, that should blow up the courtroom. You expect us to buy that? That was uh, Athena. Easy there, Trucy. I don't see any cyclops. So I guess he must not be lying. Where have we heard that before? Oh yeah, case 2-4. Uh, yeah, remember that? The real man on guard. Pardon me, I got a little carried away. But I'm telling you that truth, 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 I did not detonate the bomb. And there you have it. We can't exactly ignore his claims, of course, so we're doing a follow-up. We're even analyzing the bomb itself for what's left of it. Okay, you can see uh, the process. Well, I mean, that might necessarily be a processing chip, but you have a you have a, a chip from a circuit board there. Uh, obviously, uh, what does that say? Uh, five, five, uh, five, seven. H. I can't read that. We haven't found any new facts yet, though. Wow, they let it all out piece by piece. Oh, look at all those beautiful little pieces. I... I wish I could have them. Uh-oh. Looks like his geek switch has been activated. Uh, by the way, I'll see you guys in the next episode.